now we'll discuss the circle equation x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 touching coordinate axis coordinate axis let us see first the circle equation touching the x axis this is x axis you know that the center is minus g comma minus f and this is going to be the radius now whenever circle touches the x axis you see that radius is nothing but vertical distance vertical distance refers to y coordinate of the center that is radius is equal to modulus of y coordinate of the center y coordinate of the center of the circle so this is r is equal to mod f r square is equal to f square we know that r square is nothing but g square plus f square minus c is equal to f square cancelling f square g square equal to c so this is the ideal condition for the circle to touch the x axis in the same fashion suppose circle touches y axis like this then again here center minus g comma minus f now the radius is nothing but the horizontal component that is minus g so r is equal to minus g r square is equal to g square g square plus f square minus c is equal to g square then g square gets cancelled f square is equal to c now when circle touches x axis g square equal to c is the first condition circle touches the y axis f square equal to c is the condition now suppose circle touches both coordinate axis like this like this then you will have this is g square equal to c this is f square equal to c together it is g square equal to f square equal to c this is the condition for the circle to touch the both x axis and y axis